Let's now dive into our featured story of the day. Bitcoin just made a three-year high. We're on the cusp of reaching price discovery mode and claiming $69,000. Make some noise for that. But our featured story, did Qatar buy Bitcoin and deciphering the $3 billion mystery? I'm going to start with some tweets and then we'll dive deeper into the story. Bitcoin Archive pointed out a few hours ago, number one, the Amir ultimately the king of Qatar, visited El Salvador in September, which many of you may know. Qatar's private jet was in Madeira at the Bitcoin Atlantis conference just a couple of days ago. And the next day, Bitcoin broke 65,000. We just touched roughly 67,000 here on the stream. Probably nothing. And here's some of the receipts you can see here. It's happening. El Salvador's president, Bukele, welcomes the Emir of Qatar. The Emir of Qatar, His Highness, has arrived in our country, so he did meet with Bukele. That, my friend, is a fact. You can see their airplane right here. Here is some alpha for you. Saw this private jet from Qatar at Madeira Airport the day after sailors talk at Bitcoin Atlantis. Could it be a coincidence? You already know. And let's go with some more screenshots here, some more receipts. Uh, sure enough, check out. There are, for the Christian Roald Dahl Museum, I am sure. I'm not sure what that is. So let's go here. It's happening, says Max Kaiser. And he made a tweet. I know Scaramucci said Max is saying Qatar may have added Bitcoin to their balance sheet. If true, all we can say is thank you, Max Kaiser. And he confirmed again by retweeting it and said, it is happening. Shout out to Lock Sky. Congratulations, everyone who just became a MicroStrategy membership on the channel on behalf of Lock Sky gifting you guys and hooking it up. Shout out to Norm. 30. We got Kay. We got Peter McCann. We got Molly and Blake. Congratulations, fam. And thank you so much, Lock Sky Legend, for always hooking it up. Much respect and much love. So yeah, and some other tweets here. Uh, someone wrote, Mystery Whale has quietly accumulated over $3 billion in Bitcoin in 15 months. Max Kaiser retweeted and put the flag of Qatar. So clearly, Max knows they got what they got. And he says, God candle incoming. Again, a God candle is $10,000 on a single daily chart. Uh, no brainer if you're to ask me. Source, President Bukele, orange pill, the Amir. Here's the receipts from back in September 2023. The Emir of Qatar has officially met with El Salvador President Bukele. I've also covered this story numerous times here on the podcast. So yeah, and also as shared here by the Bitcoin News, the Qatar Executive Gulfstream, the G650ER, is the fastest ultra-long-range business jet in the world. Spotted in Madeira during the Bitcoin Atlantis conference. All a big coincidence, or are they now Bitcoin billionaires? Your thoughts, crypto fam. Now let me read this story to you. Over the past weekend, speculation about a possible investment by Qatar and Bitcoin has gained momentum. Rumors suggest that the country may have added the digital asset to its reserves. This speculation was given credence from Skybridge Capital founder, the Mooch, Anthony Scaramucci hinting at Qatar's involvement as the rumor mill continues churning. The Bitcoin price witnessed a dramatic surge today, almost eclipsing the $67,000 mark. And the day is still early. The origin of the speculation traces back to September 2023 when the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Tamin bin Hamad, made a notable visit to El Salvador and the country's president, Bukele. The visit, purportedly to discuss Bitcoin adoption amongst other investment avenues, sparked initial rumors, but failed to produce any official confirmation regarding Qatar's Bitcoin engagement. And as Jake Simmons tweeted here, the Emir of Qatar has landed in El Salvador agenda, Bitcoin legal tender, mining, Bitcoin bonds, and infrastructure investments. What do you guys think? Now, Max Kaiser, as we know, is the high priest, the prominent Bitcoin advocate and associate of El Salvador's President Bukele had particularly been vocal about the speculation in a charge statement. Kaiser exclaimed yesterday, it's happening, followed by a bullish prediction of a god candle incoming and explicitly mentioning Bukele's influence over the emir with the phrase, orange pilled the emir. Also, Max shared a few weeks back that not only is it happening, he says he they want to convert their entire sovereign wealth fund worth a half a trillion, which is 500 billion into Bitcoin. That's what he said. And echoing Kaiser's enthusiasm, we got the Mushu remarked that Max is saying Qatar may have added Bitcoin to the balance sheet. If true, all we can say, thank you, Max Kaiser. This sentiment captures the high stakes and excitement within the Bitcoin community regarding this. Now, Thomas Farr, the mind behind Apollo, a platform aimed at accelerating Bitcoin adoption by providing authentic reviews, weighed in on the potential market implications. 
quoting him here, the Qatar central bank holds 80 billion US dollars in assets. If rumors of Qatar adopting Bitcoin are true and they are just 5% of their assets, that alone would send the price to $100,000 per coin. His analysis underscores the significant market movements such as investments could trigger. Welcome everyone joining the stream. We just surpassed a thousand. I appreciate y'all. Pump the likes to pump the stream. And adding another layer to the mystery, Edward Snowden's cryptic forecast, which I shared here on the show a few days ago, hinted at a national government's conversion Bitcoin acquisition, saying, prediction, a national government will be revealed this year to have been buying Bitcoin, the modern replacement for monetary gold, without having disclosed that fact publicly. And though Snowden didn't name any country just yet, his prediction adds fuel to the speculative fire. So what are your thoughts? Do you think he is hinting this Qatar? I mean, Max hinting Qatar. We have Scaramucci hinting Qatar, the Bitcoin archive, and now potentially Edward Snowden. Now, another piece of the puzzle is a wallet address dubbed Mr. 100. Let's discuss it. The crypto community's attention has been drawn to this mysterious Bitcoin wallet in recent weeks, which has been frequently making Bitcoin purchases of approximately 100 Bitcoin per day since November 2022. That's right. Now, some are speculating Mr. 100 could potentially be Jeff Bezos. Bezos was off, uh, often, uh, more recently, seen rubbing elbows with Sailor as well. The wallet now holds over 51,000 Bitcoin worth 3.3 billion, so others are speculating that this is Qatar. But according to the charts, the activities of the wallet, coupled with its usage of Binance and KuCoin for transactions, hint at an entity outside the United States, which in turn fuels the Qatar speculation. And again, according to the rumors and according to the tweets I already shared with you, Max Kaiser is ultimately saying this mystery whale who has $3 billion is Qatar. Let me know if you agree, family, or disagree in the live chat. And so there you have it. More bullishness likely to continue. We already tapped almost 67,000 this morning, a new three-year high. Congratulations to all the Bitcoin hodlers. Who do you think it's the mystery? Is it Bezos? Is it Qatar? Or is it someone completely off the radar we're not even discussing right now? And what's going to happen when the kingdom of Saudi Arabia makes the announcement and all this oil money starts pouring into Bitcoin? The total addressable market is north of 700 trillion, right? The crypto market cap is a mere 2 trillion, a drop in the bucket. The Bitcoin market cap, roughly 1.5 trillion. That's nothing, right? We're just getting started, family. What's going to happen when we see these God candles, right? And we enter true institutional FOMO like you have never seen before on the world stage. What's going to happen when we get the ETFs coming out of El Salvador, ETFs coming out of Hong Kong, more sovereign wealth fund and nation state adoption the same year of the having, right? The same year as the presidential election. Bitcoin being the most pristine collateral to ever exist. Perfect money, unconfiscatable, incorruptible, perfect store of value, immutable, borderless, and unf If you feel me, make some noise, family. Let me know your feedback, and let's do some live Q&A. 